What's up, everybody? It is time for the Xserve Raid SATA Conversion Day. I got my parts in. Got these uh, parallel to SATA adapters. Got a whole bunch of them. Let's see here. Got a whole bunch. There. So, a bunch of these things. I'm not going to use them all right now. I just want to get you the, the shizzle on what you got to do. Um, I've already played with this just to make sure it works. I got two uh, different size drives. The uh, HGST Travel Star. This is a one terabyte. I got a Seagate uh, two terabyte. I got a 500 gig HGST. I left somewhere in the video game cabinet here. Um, I have the TV on. And uh, what we're going to do there we go, is get it rolling again. Yeah, my desk is a mess. So what I noticed what you got to do is this. When you pull your carrier out of your RAID, Xserve RAID, um, I keep, I had to move these cables for. Now, maybe it's just the brand of these parallel SATA adapters that I got. I don't even know what brand these are. These are just some Chinese knockoff Peta to SATA, Peta. Parallel 88 is SATA. It is a uh, generic brand, got off eBay. It does SATA 133, ATA 100, I mean, yeah. 40 pin IDE, standard SATA port, and a power connector. Converts serial ATA to parallel ATA. Converts ATA 100. 133 with SATA specifications. So, you're like, well, that's awesome. So what I'm gonna do is this, remove this. And basically, I popped the cover off of the drive thing. You just squeeze the sides, lift up, it'll fold over this, this piece comes off. Um, I unplugged the IDE hard drive, of course, uh, before I did all this. This just standard four pin Molex, this one, now this cable is folded up like this because of the, uh, you know, it's just IDE, these hang. And you usually have to take this off to put the drive in anyway. So, stretch this sucker out a little bit. Yeah, there's some holes in here. It's just cable cuts for how Apple does things. And I slid it forward. Now, using a two and a half inch drive, you have to because there is no way on earth that with this thing, not just even squishing it, I don't even think there's a way that I could fit a SATA hard drive in here no, it's hanging over and you can't take this off because that's part of the spring mechanism and the lights tray that run down for this so you're kind of you have to use two and a half and you know what they're cheap so let's do what is this one uh, that's a 500 let's just what's this one terabyte what's this one that one two terabyte okay so i put this i put this tray in uh i'm just gonna try this one-handed well flip this over now these are kind of loose i don't know if i can do this with holding the camera let me just put this in real quick here line it up squish it in that's loose it doesn't really fit very good so make sure this squishes all the way in. Now try, if you're gonna buy these, get the lowest profile. This is a big one, it fits, but I gotta scoot it forward because it's thick at the top, three and a half inches, so is this. But for some reason, this cable folding over, stuff like that, I wanna do this better and put a screw in here. And I think I can almost line up one I had a back one lined up right there so I'll just run a screw in there so let's uh heck with the talking let's pop this in the raid now I already got the uh raid admin open you know there's no drive inserted okay and as you can see there's no drive inserted because there's no cage here Ugh. oh crap my holding this camera all weird I apologize all right so I'm gonna squish this down as best I can Make sure the drive is in there because it likes to come loose for some reason. Okay. Try 
I do this one handed. I'm just putting my thumb on the drive. I might have to set the camera down for this because I have to squish that cable down. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. It likes to uh, pop out. Okay. So once it gets past that point, push your drive in as best you can and just give it a shove. Ah, it's going to be tight. It's going to make noise. Let's see if this works. Green is butter. Okay. Oh, why it's using that one? Okay, so we got drive. What is this? 13 is online. Why is that blinking? Okay, let's check it. I didn't touch nothing. It auto popped up. Spare HGST. Uh, one terabyte. Nine thirty-one fifty-one. Bam. There you go. This one's already set up. This is the, what is this one? I don't even know what this one is. What is this? This is only 500. This one should work too. I haven't put it in yet. I want to do the two terabyte, but I don't think it's going to work. I don't know if two terabytes is, is uh, doable. It's supposed to be one work fine upside down see how this likes to pop free there was a way to maybe I'll tape it or something but I'm just leaving the dust covers off I haven't even tried to put the covers on yet see how it likes to pop out right there oh yeah it's tight Ugh. okay let's drive 14 I hear it spinning bingo bango new service ID lights Let's check. All right, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Okay, we'll click. Was it this one? Not installed. Let's wait a second and see if it shows up. I guess I could double click and say update, but I want to see if it pops up on its own. Oh, there it goes. Uh, ST500 465.76 gigabytes. So there you go. Hey, man, I'm more excited about this one. Terabyte. Because I have one... 750 in the in the array and it's right here and it only comes up to 698 and I have a lot of other crap ones so yeah I'm excited about that one 931 I think it's a 30 is that right 93151 HGST travel star uh one terabyte 7200 rpm 32 mega 32 mega cache look at that it's 9.5 millimeter i guess the size doesn't matter but it's two and a half inch high performance uh, uh mobile hard drive i got it at micro center in towson maryland for uh not 84 dollars it was like 60 some odd bucks now this is october 2016 i do have the two terabyter uh well, wherever that one went that's another five uh over there I am going to do that one. Uh, not right now, though. I'm just excited that that works. So there you go. Proof of concept. Parallel ATA to SATA adapters. Just some cheesy ones I got off eBay. They're like $4 each. Um, I had to make sure I had a female end because dummy me went to the store and bought some other ones that were male. And you can't plug the, uh, you know, IDE cable into this. So I had to find ones that were this way because in the x serve raid you know i'll just grab a blank tray i had a blank tray where are they there we go you know in this thing like it sits like this now i wonder if i can even this one won't really fit it's too these these are just the blanks are a little short but you know the power comes out this side and the ide is this side and of course the sata is on the bottom so just make sure you buy the full sata there are these micro sata ones that are used for like optical drives and their SATA data connector is only like that big. So beware of that. Make sure it's standard SATA. These little cheesy $4 ones from China. Um, people were saying, hey, you can buy whatever brand it is. IDE2 SAT. It's like StarTech. They're like $15 a shot, man. I got all of these, six of them, for $9 on eBay. All six. So the drives are going to be expensive to do the whole thing. You figure I got 14 of these puppies. Um, 
these are just a hodgepodge of fives and threes. So I might leave this one alone. But this one's gonna be all, if I if the two terabyte works, I'll make another video on the two. Right now I'm just happy I got these rolling. Um, I will do another video on a, a two terabyte and we'll see if that one auto pops up. It should, the EMC chipset does support two terabytes, but I think, and I'm not sure, but I think Apple only updated the XServe to, uh, ouch, the RAID, I mean, XServe RAID to 151, which is what I got. Ooh, that's, that's not a good focus. There we go, 151 in 2007. So, uh, yeah. I, I, one terabyte, great. I guess one terabyte drives around in 2007. I'm just glad that works. And this one's 500. So it does recognize the IDE to SATA converters. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw some data at it, see how it performs. It's probably gonna be better than the, uh, the IDEs just because of the buffer. I mean, 32 meg buffer versus like eight if you're lucky on an old IDE parallel ATA drive. So that's it guys. Uh, parallel ATA to SATA. An HGST Travel Star 1 terabyte and a Seagate 2 terabyte coming. So there's your proof of concept, guys. I hope this helps you. You can bring new life to your uh, Xserve RAID for cheap, man. I mean, 50 bucks for a terabyte drive. You can get 14 terabytes out of this puppy. And if you want, 